Akron distributes water to about 300,000 customers in the city and the suburbs. It comes from here, Lake Rockwell in Portage County. A major algae bloom problem could happen here, but a sophisticated system closely monitors for any warning signs. Algae throughout the nation is, is becoming a huge concern. That's why Jeff Bernowski, the water supply manager of the Akron plant, never lets his guard down. We are constantly out on a continuous basis, grabbing samples, analyzing samples for algae. The water flows from the lake to basins where it's treated, sent to filters and treated again. 35 million gallons of water are then pumped out daily to customers. Okay, so this is measuring the clarity of the water. 25 real-time analyzers also measure the performance of the filters, ensuring the water is safe to drink. Algae clogs filters, all right? When you clog filters, these turbidities start to rise. Another precaution, lab analysts frequently check water samples under a microscope. Just a milliliter of water can show trouble. We mix up our sample because what, because what algae normally likes to do is it'll, it'll float or it'll settle. They search for a variety of potentially toxic forms of algae, including microcysteine, which caused the Toledo trouble. We've never seen anything to cause this alarm. In fact, the Akron plant is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year, and in that time, there has never been water restrictions related to an algae bloom. Still, Bernowski says what happened in Toledo emphasizes the need to be prepared. We have an emergency operating plan that specifically puts a response strategy on how to deal with the fact that there may be a do not drink or do not use in the future. In Akron, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.